Today we are going to respond to a gentleman who claims I poked the bear, but I mean, considering his response video, I must have poked the teddy bear, you know what I mean? This guy is, is just a fool. And I mean, like, imagine being so confident in what you're saying and like so confident that you're right, that you fail to accurately represent the other person's point of view, the other p person's beliefs. Like, if you can't even prove that you can accurately represent my beliefs, you don't understand my beliefs. You don't understand what I'm saying. And if you can't prove that you understand what I'm saying, why should I believe you when you say what I'm saying is true or what I'm saying is false? Like, you, you can't even accurately represent my side, so, so you clearly don't know what you're talking about. But let's get started, because this guy is just Mr. Correct, Mr. Macho man, <laughs> this guy, he just pays so little attention to what I say that only a fool would believe anything he says about me. And, and let me let me um prove it right out of the gates because um in the video he makes, he he had every opportunity to correct himself, every opportunity to realize that what I was saying is not what he's saying right? Because I address a gentleman that is not Kefar. In order to prove that this man has paid so little attention to what I say that he couldn't possibly like know or understand what I'm saying, um, I, I present to you Exhibit A, which is, you know, which is him claiming that I'm addressing his brother Kefar when I'm clearly addressing some other dude named Gary. Like, I, I make it very, very clear in the video that I'm addressing Gary. I say, oh, and then this other guy chimes in, and then I put the, the picture of that dude's post, and it has his name. He, like, and then at the very end of my little spiel about this guy named Gary, I say, now let's get back to Kafar. And that's even in this dude's video. Like, this dude thought I was talking about Kafar that whole time. That's how little attention and retention he has of what I've said. But, you know, all right, th this guy definitely understands. And then we got this other guy chiming in, and he says, my argument is that I just want to ignore the law, and I want to ignore what, like, the government says and all of this stuff. I don't want to be held accountable by the government. I can do whatever I want because I'm ignoring the government. That, that, no. I, I'm taking what our forefathers said. I'm taking their example and I understand it and applying that so that I can understand tyran tyranny and oppression. And I even asked the man to define liberty without first looking it up. And he fails to do so and then starts talking about going to work with his ARs like that somehow proves he knows what liberty means. But he clearly does not know what liberty means because those ARs that he's packing, I can guarantee you they're not full auto. And why? Why aren't they full auto? Because the government has legislated laws that affect his right to liberty without his consent. Okay, guys, y'all have got to give me a lot of credit in this one for my discipline and not just jumping every time he says something stupid or nonsensical or just absolutely, I don't, I don't even have a word to describe that level of stupid. And that's actually pretty shocking. But anyway, let's go over a couple of things real quick. First of all, the government is not doing it without our consent. They have our consent. We gave them our consent when the damn representatives were elected to the government to the Congress, to Senate. That's just how that works. That is the consent. The election is the consent. All right. Next, K4 doesn't own ARs. All right. I've never even heard him mention the term AR-15. And with him being a vet, he probably wouldn't say AR-15. And there are no full auto AR-15s. Now, technically, yes, you can, you can, if you get the parts and you get the jig, and you know what you're doing around a mill, then yes, and a grinder, then yes, you absolutely can turn an AR full auto. And again, dude, there is a reason dumbasses like you are not allowed select, fire, tax stamp required 
class three weaponry. Good night. You don't need full auto weapons, sir. There is no reason why you in your garage need a damn M16. A one, two, three, or four. You don't. I'm sorry, not an A3 and A4. We didn't even, they just skipped over three. You don't need an M4. You don't need an M4A1. You don't. You don't need an MP5. You don't need anything that has, you don't even, in my opinion, need a semi-automatic with your IQ level. The government says you can't own a full auto AR, so he doesn't own a full auto AR. And he does not understand what liberty means. What a foolish, foolish man. But let's get back to KFAR. Yeah, and then this guy, he like acts like he can't pronounce my name in the beginning of his video. He acts like my name is so confusing and hard to pronounce. And then literally at the end of his video, he proves he can accurately read my name. And it's just so funny to me because he's trying to compare me to some like, like Charles Manson group or channel or something. But <clears throat> I have no affiliation with whoever he's referencing. I don't know who they are. Any similarities in my name is just a complete coincidence. Like, I don't know who he's talking about. He's going by the name of Dude, Guy, Dude, Manson, something like that. Anyway, with the exception of how two of the three words sit and one letter, his channel name is actually the exact same as one that is a big Char Charles Manson fan page. It really is. So you can go look that up. But spell Guy Dude Manson with an O instead of an E, and you'll see what I'm talking about. There, Dude Guy Manson. Throughout the entire video, he refers to me as a communist. Anyway, long story short, uh, Brother KFAR found this guy on Facebook, and he's a communist, anarchist. He's pretty much everything but normal. I'm no communist. I never call myself a communist. Again, this is how little attention he's paid to what I've had to say. Um, he, he just assumes that I'm some communist. But the, the reality is I'm a communist anarchist. It, it, it's two in one. He claims that I'm a communist or an anarchist. He doesn't realize that I'm communist anarchist. It, it's That's what it is. And communist anarchism is vastly different than communism. And if you'd like to understand the difference, um, follow this link. It'll take you to a website where you can read what communist anarchism is for free. I believe in free information. So there you go. And then these people are like, oh, you, you should have to use your feet. Use your feet. If you want to travel, you should have to walk from the West Coast to the East Coast just to visit your grandmother. That That's totally a reasonable thing. Go ahead and get on your walking sticks. And if you don't want, know what that means, what that means is start walking. Yes, you have every right to travel from state to state. You do. However, your mode of transportation and which who is in control of it is very much not a right. Driving is a privilege in all 50 states. And it doesn't matter if it's common law or admiralty law. If you're going to operate a motor vehicle, and yes, a Tesla is a motor vehicle. The difference is, is that its power source is by battery and not combustion engine an internal combustion engine. It's still a motor vehicle. It is still subject to all the same laws that a GMC would. So knock it off and do better. You don't have a right to drive. Driving is a privilege. And, and it's like, no, it's not. It's not reasonable for the government to utilize fatigue, to weaponize fatigue as a means to compel me into paying them to exercise my rights. Like, I have the right to travel. You can't say, oh, yeah, you have the right to travel on your own two legs. I mean, think about how asinine that is. Like, how am I supposed to carry large loads of merchandise from point A to point B, right? Because if I produce a cash crop, if I exercise my right to liberty, produce a cash crop, and then have to take that crop to market, how am I supposed to do that by walking? Like, be reasonable. I can't make a living utilizing only my two legs and then they'll say ridiculous things like oh you, you can use your horse or 
like you can use the bus or but let's start at the let's start at the horse because they're, they're two different issues so they're like oh get a horse and then you can like ride your horse no you can't if i were to try to ride a horse across country and not only myself but like a large amount of people taking to the streets with horses would would only cause worse traffic for those in horseless carriages, for those in cars, you know, because the the droppings the horse leaves behind, that's going to be a hazard on the roadway. You really want thousands of people having a horse leave behind dropping like, no, that, that's unreasonable. Be, be reasonable. So then then they'll be like, oh, well, you can take the bus or you can take a you can take the train or whatever, like public transportation systems, right? That's still paying in order to exercise your right to travel. I either have to pay for that bus ticket, which, you know, is like, I should be able to travel without paying. And I could do that by utilizing my car. But instead, now I'm being compelled to pay somebody in order to travel, which would be the bus ticket. And I, I understand that there are some buses in some places that are funded and it's free to like get on the bus and like go but you're still paying for that with taxes you're just not directly paying for it but it's still being paid for like you're still paying for your right to travel one way or another if it's a driver's license if it's license plates if it's a bus ticket if it's taxes to pay for public transportation there you are paying for your right to travel you shouldn't have to all you should have to pay is gas to put in the car that you already paid for that you already own so that you can drive on the roads that your taxes paid for it's pretty simple stuff people he like brings up tesla and i've never once used the word tesla before now this is literally the first time i've said the word tesla i understand that a motor running off of electricity is still a motor i understand the difference between an electrical engine and a combustion engine I don't understand why you think I fail to understand that difference. But look, if, if you're talking to people on a regular basis that fail to understand that difference, I can give you some understanding for like why you're so bitter and salty regarding anybody who has a different belief than you do. Uh, like that, that is pretty asinine and hard to, to swallow. Like, somebody claiming that a tesla isn't a motor vehicle I, I get what you're saying okay well i don't even know where to start with that we'll go with this yes and it is he uses facts and logic just like i do and yes we are gonna absolutely laugh at the dumb things you want to be sausits do we're gonna make fun of that because that's why you have a hundred and whatever people that listen to you as opposed to how many he has and yes, we they come here to they come here to laugh with us laughing at you. That's just how that works. And if you don't understand that, well, that's your problem, not mine. And next, you don't defend what? Defend yourself from what? What? A ribbing? If you don't want to get made fun of on the internet, if you don't want to get made fun of on this platform then don't put up dumb videos. Don't put up soft sick garbage. All right, you communist? And that's not me making fun of him. He is a legit self-admitted communist, boys and girls. And, and yes, I, I understand I have very few followers, but you, you got to start somewhere. Uh, oh no, I have a hundred something followers. Whatever will I do? I'll keep posting videos. And it, it's not that I think we should be defended from being laughed at or like a ribbing. Yeah, all right, fine. You, you can laugh at me. You can make fun of me. I'm fine with that. But the least you could do is accurately represent my beliefs when you're making fun of me, right? Like that's what I'm talking about is like the opportunity to defend my right to to be represented accurately. Like if you want to intentionally misrepresent me and make fun of me, th that's kind of what I'm talking about. Like why, why would you do that? It, for views? All right. Like, like all I care is that my views are accurately represented while you're making fun of me. That, that's the defense I'm talking about. By all means, make fun of me, but do it accurately. Then he wants to tell me I'm in the wrong country for believing in communist anarchism. Well, communism, but um, he says I'm in the wrong country for that garbage. Well, what are you talking about? This is the home of the brave and the land of the free. We, we have the right to 
form new governments that accurately represent us, that, that we feel best secure our safety and happiness. Like, th this is literally the only place on the planet where a communist anarchist government could be formed by free, innocent men exercising their rights. So what are you talking about? Like, th this isn't the place. This is literally the place. Like, you understand so little about what our forefathers wanted that you think that this isn't the country for free, innocent men exercising their right to form whatever government they consent to be governed by? L l let me put it like this. When your house is dirty, when, when you're born into a dirty house, do you abandon that house in search of a clean one? Or do you recognize that you have a duty to future generations to make up for the failures of your ancestors and clean the house? There's a reason why the Supreme Court hasn't been legislating anything on behalf of the innocent. Because the Supreme Court doesn't legislate shit. The legislators legislate. The Supreme Court rules on cases based on available, already ruled case law and on the Constitution. Swing and a miss. Excuse me for saying that the Supreme Court legislates laws when they just do rulings. Excuse me. It's a different finger on the same hand. They are no longer bound to the checks and balances that our forefathers put into place. And if you think otherwise, you're domesticated by propaganda. Like, it doesn't matter anymore who's legislating, who's ruling. The fact of the matter is the government is compelling innocent people into obeying laws that they did not consent to be legislated. Laws that affect their rights. They're Gabriel from the family privet. Is that the family privet El Bay by any chance? Just curious. I'm not related to El Bay. I have no affiliation. <clears throat> I have no affiliation with El Bay. I, I don't know who that is. And they're not doing it without our consent. We consented when they were elected. You consented when you agreed to be a citizen of this country. So, so one thing that you seem to fail to comprehend, one thing that these people seem to fail to understand is that minority right is over majority rule. It doesn't matter what the majority have ruled. It doesn't matter if the majority vote and pass a law. They can't violate the rights of the minority, right? Because you're, you're always talking about how things are not absolute. It, exactly. The, the, leg the majority cannot rule over the minority absolutely. The minority still has rights regardless of what the majority rules. Anywho, uh, so we, as, as citizens, we elect representatives. They go to D.C. We do this at both the state and the federal level. There, there, there is a difference. Uh, and that's covered in the Tenth Amendment. It was later ratified by the Fourteenth Amendment. You know, since all you flat earthers don't think that there are any amendments like after two, I think, or no, after six, my bad. Uh, but I'm like a flat earther. What? Why? Where did that come from? Why do you think I'm a flat earther? Like, that's how little you understand about what I say is that you think I'm a flat earther when I've never even like d defended that ideology. I literally used the word flat earther one time. And it was to call out um, KFAR for telling me to go do research on my own. So, yeah, that's what the flat earthers say. They say, go do research on my own. It's like, come on. The point is, is that we elect these people. These people write laws based off our permission. We give them the permission to do this when they are elected to that office. Because we elected them to that office. All right. They make these laws. They pass these laws. Those laws then go to the president's desk. And if he agrees with it, he signs it. If he doesn't, he vetoes it. So that is what it is. And if it is an unconstitutional law, that's why we have the Supreme Court, because it'll be taken to them. The Supreme Court will look at it and go either. No, this is legal. Or they'll go, you know what? Absolutely not. This entire law is a constitutional violation based off of this and this and this. 
by all means, if you want to consent to be governed by the current government, that's fine. You have every right to do that. But as a free, innocent man exercising my right to liberty, I have every right to revoke my consent to be governed by that. I have every right to act in ways that are to my best interests. I have every right to behave how I see fit as long as I'm not causing harm and loss to others. That's what liberty means. No government can affect my right to liberty without my consent. And the current state and federal governments often and abundantly do so. And literally all you've done is repeat KFAR's point, which was let the government think for you. Let, let the government think for us, people. It's okay because the Supreme Court can do all of your thinking. You don't need to think. You don't need to recognize tyranny and, and oppression because the Supreme Court will do it for you. No, they won't. They've proven they won't. Only a fool would believe that the current government, the current state and federal government have their best interests at heart. Let me put it like this. How have 100 men the right to vote for a master on behalf of 10 who do not? Minority right over a majority rule. There is a reason dumbasses like you are not allowed select fire tax stamp required class three weaponry. Good night. You don't need full auto weapons, sir. There is no reason why you in your garage need a damn M16. A one, two, three, or four. You don't. I'm sorry, not an A3, an A4. We didn't even, they just skipped over three. You don't need an M4. You don't need an M4A1. You don't. You don't need an MP5. You don't need anything. That has, you don't even, in my opinion, need a semi-automatic with your IQ level. This is how little you understand about rights and how little you understand about freedom. You're sitting there saying, oh, you can't own an AR, or excuse me, you can't own an M16, A1, A2, A3, or A4 because you have no need for them. You, It doesn't matter if I have a need for them. Like, as a free, innocent man, if I want to own a fully automatic M16 A2, or excuse me, M2, uh, I have every right to to own it. Like, like, that's what freedom and liberty mean. It means the government can't tell me what I can and can't own. Like, I, I have every right to own a fully automatic M16, okay? So, so it doesn't matter whether I have a need for it or not. I have the right to own it as a free, innocent man exercising my rights. And for you to say, no, you can't own that because that person over there used it to hurt people, you are punishing me for the actions of others. And that is wrong. You, you don't protect people by punishing them for the actions of others. That's called oppression and tyranny. I don't, I have no intention of overthrowing the current government. All I want to do is be free to exercise my God-given rights. That's literally all I want. And, you know, I have to act in self-defense. Like, that. that's not overthrowing a government. Like, acting in self-defense is not revolutionary. Acting in self-defense is not, like, means for a, a violence. Like, you can't say I'm being violent because I'm acting in self-defense. Like, um, I, I don't know where this pity check he is referencing comes from like I, I think you completely failed to understand my point um and my point is that veterans do not serve or sacrifice anything for us because the current government is abundantly and often violating our rights it's that simple like the, those people were paid by the government to compel innocent men and women into obeying laws that affect their rights that they didn't consent to be governed they they compromised their moral integrity for a paycheck that that's all they did they didn't help you they didn't protect you the only thing protecting your rights right now is the fact that so many people here in america bear arms and would refuse to allow a blatant violation of our rights you know but the government is tricky the government is sneaky and they've they've literally convinced people that what is a right is actually a privilege so so that you see there's more than one way to take away our rights 
and th that goes further when you consider like being too afraid to utilize those arms in self-defense that that's another way the government has taken away our rights like w what good is that ar in your gun safe if you're afraid to utilize it in defense of the rights of the innocent they've effectively taken away your right to bear arms regardless of whether you have them in your gun safe or not if you're too afraid to use them um, when I said blue coats, I was referring to modern day police officers. I thought that was fairly evident, but you know, forgive me if it wasn't obvious. I never agreed to be a citizen. Like I, I was literally born and then, you know, attempted to be brainwashed into being a parole as defined by George Orwell in 1984. So, um, I mean, you you can act like I consented to be a citizen or like I chose to be a citizen, but that's not true. It, it's not accurate. Like, I, I, in fact, it's quite the opposite. I, I have absolutely no desire to be a citizen of the United States government. I have every intention of just being a citizen of the country I live in. The, the First Amendment is not what gives me the right to act as a communist the the first amendment is like my freedom of speech it's not like it, it doesn't what no no see my god-given rights are what gives me the right to be a a communist to act in a communist way um there, there's no nothing about the current government that that makes it so i can be a communist like my, my freedom my liberty my rights are what allows me to be a communist anarchist just remember, there's a lot of domesticated, brainwashed people out there, and the time will come where we will have to hold them accountable for refusing to see the error in their ways. But I digress. Together we are strong.